You go outside there and you keep your gaze down. You keep your gaze down. That is a sunnah. The longer you do it, the more reward you get. And the more tougher it is to keep it down, the greater the reward is. You know, don't look at, you know, it's not like you see an ugly person and say, that's, that's tough for me. <laughs> Keeping my eyes down. You know. <laughs> Brothers, that's easy to do, right? That's easy to do. When you see something that you want to, you want to look, it want to make you look. That time you keep it, Rasulullah said in a hadith of Ahmad, he says, you in that day Allah will give you, He will make you taste the sweetness of Iman. And brothers, you want to test this, you test this. Go out there today when you go from here, just when you're really tempted to look, don't look, and in your dua, in your ibadah, in your salah, in your Quran, whatever it is, Allah will make you taste the sweetness of Iman. And I have tried this on several occasions, and on every occasion, I have had the sweetness of Iman. And I'm telling you to test it again and again, and you'll find the Prophet's words are absolutely spot on. Every time you see a woman, you turn. I'm not going to look. Another one there. I'm not going to look. Another one there. Everywhere is surrounding because they take off their clothing, and you are a man. You are a man. And brother, I'm telling you, if you keep looking, when will you stop looking? When? When will you lower your gaze? One of the scholars, he mentions a story that there was a man in the United States. He, he was a religious preacher. He entered a lift, young man. And when he was in the lift, they, the lift stopped at a certain floor. And the female entered it. She was semi-nude. And he looked down and he did not look at her. And she was agitated, irritated. First time in her life, somebody's not looking. And she's stamping and she's doing, you know, trying to make a noise, making it. And the two of them are alone in the lift. And he just looks down. He doesn't say a word. He, his lift stopped. She wanted to go higher. When he came out, she came out behind him. This is a true story. She came out behind him and she created a discussion. Hey, you know what? I'm very offended. Am I so bad, so dirty, so ugly that you couldn't even look? Now she's being honest. This is how the women have been trained that you need to attract men at large. You need to attract men at large. So am I, am I this that you couldn't even look? You couldn't even. And he says, look, my sister, you know what? I'm a Muslim. I respect you so much, really. And I have a wife and I would not. I don't want to insult myself and yourself by, you know, staring at you. And what am I going to gain by it? And he explained to her in a beautiful way and she asked for his number. Now imagine if someone asked you for their numbers. Wow, mashallah. And respectfully, the man agreed and he felt that, you know, I will get the people in touch with her and explain. After some time, she accepted Islam. And she says, Islam has liberated me from being a person who, who cannot leave the home without half an hour in front of the mirror without spending on different types of designer clothing. Islam has liberated me. I just put on a black cloak and I walk out. That's it.